I got an interesting uh, letter today from Johnny Carson's attorney. <laughs> Turns out we get custody of Ed. Yeah. So, you're gonna have to feed him, Paul. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's get to the uh, viewer mail. Now, wait a minute, I mentioned that the, the, Shanklin, uh, the Shanklin boys are here. Uh, and uh, this is, we have like, uh, these are pilots. These are the youngest pilots in the world, right? Huh? Just one, one of them's a pilot. No, they're both pilots. They're both pilots. They're both pilots. And one is the youngest pilot to fly across the country. Right, okay, they're both pilots, uh, and one is the youngest pilot to fly across the country, and... The other one is the youngest person to accompany the youngest pilot. <laughs> that would be the youngest passenger. <laughs> so we have the uh, cute little kids, and they'll be out here. They flew all across the uh, United States. I got to hear about that. Okay. Uh, let's do our uh, viewer mail here, ladies and gentlemen. In my right hand, I have actual letters from actual viewers. Letter number one. Dear Dave, what's fame really like? Just wondering, Alex Scott, Camden, New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, like I'd know. <laughs> I enjoy telling that one on myself. That's a, that's a little good one. Really good one. I, get a, I get a kick out of that in my own self. That, that's the kind of thing sailors dream about at sea, getting back into port so they can have that. Yeah. Letter number two. Dear Dave, uh, could you at least host the show one night wearing a suit covered with little Xerox copies of Ed Asner's head? <laughs> Your pal, Captain Dave Renneker, Ann Arbor, Michigan. Uh, let's see. Uh, he wants some uh, copies, uh, Xerox copies of Ed Asner's head. Uh, well, you know, darn it, I'll, I'll give it a try. It's me, Dave. Listen, I, I can't explain it to you right now, but I, but I need to have 200 Xerox copies of your head, if you could do that. Don't go away. Okay. Right here. You sure I didn't wake you? No, no, you didn't wake me. Do I? Do I? Don't I sound awake? Yeah, no, sure. Top of the morning. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's I don't know this for sure, but I have a feeling because of that letter, we're going to win a Peabody. <laughs> James, what are you doing over there? Oh. Well, no, tell me what you're doing there. Did you mention that the Gear Daddies are here? Oh, no, I didn't mention that the Gear Daddies... Oh, yeah! The, the Gear Daddies are here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Marilyn. Boy, is my face red now. I forgot the gear daddies. Well, that's right. They're here. And that's yeah. why you have a cracked staff like that. Yeah, they, exactly. Yeah, that's, like... that's why I don't get 1130. <laughs> <laughs> get the gear daddies. Get the gear daddies. Just for that reason? You make mistakes like that. Ah. <laughs> you know, ah. the, the network made a deal to have uh, old reruns of the show over at the A&E network. Yeah. I, I wonder if they'd like us to go over there and do it live. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Letter number, where are we? Three. 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 <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Dear Dave, bunt cake. <laughs> Sincerely, uh, Jason Joseph, St. Paul, uh, Minnesota. Bunt, bunt cake. Uh, sure, Jason, I guess. Why not? Let's give it a shot. Bunt, bunt cake. Oh! <laughs> Yeah. Dave, it was hysterical. Hysterical the way you sort of ducked yeah. down like a I have like a, a feeling little... they may be taking back the Peabody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, you 
you thought that was funny. Very Apple? funny the way you yeah, ducked okay. behind your desk. All right, I, I have a word for you. What is Ham. that? Ham. Ham? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. All right. Letter, letter number four. Dave, yes, Dave. yes. What is it, Al? Dave, uh, I, I, I hate to interrupt. Right. But I was just wondering. Uh, you thought if, that I forget, you thought I forgot the gear daddies. That's what it was. Yeah. Okay. But if you could. <laughs> All right, uh, sure. Al. Anything for you? Donuts. <laughs> All right, I'll get out. Get out. Go ahead. Get out. <laughs> like he's going to stand there all night and enjoy a donut. Uh, dear Dave, uh, you and Paul have such a great comic interaction. Oh, hear that, Paul? Great comic interaction. Oh, oh you're lovely, busy it? tidying up the hams. I'm well, I'm just <laughs> cleaning up a little bit. Uh, I know how a grown man likes to organize his hams, so go right ahead. <laughs> uh, dear Dave, you and Paul have such a great comic interaction. I was wondering, do you two hang out together? parentheses, i.e., go bowling, close parentheses, <laughs> or is it just a business relationship? Your biggest fan, Raymond Jacobson, Castro Valley, California. Uh, you know, Raymond, this is an excellent question, and I couldn't be happier you wrote in tonight. I, I can tell you with pride that Paul and I are wonderful, terrific, off-camera friends. In fact, you remember this, yeah. a couple of weeks ago, Paul came up to the house, we spent the afternoon chopping firewood. Gosh, what an afternoon that was. Boy, I played a little joke on you. Hey, Paul, come here. What? Right, look right there. Huh? What is that? Is that a ladybug right there? Or is that some kind of... Wait, oh, it's like a turtle, a brightly colored some sort of animal there. Let's see it. Here, no, put your head right over there. Over here? Yeah, what? right like there. Just there. Okay, take a close look. Okay. April Fool's! <laughs> oh, oh, the head just ah, came right out. <laughs> I gotta tell you. Uh, <laughs> well, we got that out of the way. We're going to do a commercial. We'll be right back here with some stupid pictures.